What is going on YouTube? It is your boy KP, and today I'm bringing you something a little bit different. Now, this is going to be an update video on what's been happening in the esports scene of Counter Strike Global Offensive. So, three big things happen today, guys, and I'm going to be covering them all. First thing is Counter Strike Global Offensive will be televised on TV on the channel TBS alongside shows such as Major League Baseball, Postseason, and March Madness. Now, guys, this is fucking insane for esports and the growth of counter-strike global offensive because this is just going to be crazy it's going to be 10 of the world's top teams so teams such as nip tsm nv fanatic versus pro and they're going to be playing in a 10-week season televised on tv alongside other shows and this is going to be crazy because anyone any random person can turn on the tv and be able to watch Counter Strike Global Offensive competitive play. Going to it's they're saying it's going to they're going to have player profiles, match histories, and a lot of in-depth uh, stuff. And the casters will be way more professional, not go off topic on TV. And it's going to be awesome, guys. Like this is a huge step for the growth of the community. And I really am just shocked by this and so happy with it. Next up, guys, uh, in team team wise, uh, G2 trio moves to NIP. So basically, guys, what happened is NIP, uh, Get Right, Freiburg, and Alu left. They are currently not on a team. Rumor is, and they left, and they uh, are picking up Dennis, Rain, and Exist from G2 slash Kingwin. Now this is also huge because there are rumors that Get Right is going to be going to Cloud9 on the North American scene, right as you can see right here, and Sean Garras will be going in as coach, and Get Right will be replacing him. Now, guys, if that happened, this would be crazy. It'd be huge for NACS, and I don't know what hap would happen to Freiburg and Alu, but this is just some of the roster changes happening in esports, guys. So, don't know what's going to happen to NIP and G2, but supposedly this is what's going on. Get right, Freiburg and Alu leave, and NIP acquires Dennis Rain and Forrest. Or Dennis Rain and Michael Lele to join Forrest and exist, guys. Alright guys, next up, Titan uh, picked up Scream from G2, and this is kind of what started the roster changes on NIP and G2. Um, is Scream actually just solely he left him by himself to join Titan because Maniac uh, he said he left on his Facebook post but I assume he was dropped because of his poor performance so Titan picks up Scream guys and I am very excited about this I think this gives Titan the potential to get back up there in the top five teams and you know maybe take down Envy and Virtus Pro more Oftenly, I don't know if they would be able to compete with Fnatic, but this gives them so much potential. Uh, Scream is way more consistent than Maniac. Uh, he's just on a whole nother level, guys. This is great for Titan. I'm not sure about the NIP and G2 changes. Those seem a little forced to me, and I don't know how they're going to work out, but this is definitely great for Titan. I'm sure they're very happy with this, guys. So basically the review, um, CSGO is going to be on TV, uh, NIP, Get Right, Freiburg, and Alu leave, and Titan signs Scream. And that's that's what's happened today, guys, for CSGO competitive esports, and it is a lot. Like, that is a lot for one day. Uh, I don't think there's been uh, this many roster changes and announcements since for a while. But uh, yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this type of video, please let me know in the comments. It is something different, because a lot of people don't keep up with this stuff, and I thought it was pretty interesting, especially since there's a ton of NIP fans, and now you're going to be able to see them on TV, so uh, that is pretty sick. So let me know what you think in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and comment. As always, have a good day, and peace!